Hello everybody. This week's camera is the Nikon Coolpix AW100. I'm using this kind of bizarre setup because this and this tripod have been the workhorses for this uh, for shooting video for this project. Uh, this came out in the fall of 2011. I got this one in December of 2012. I needed a new waterproof camera for vacationing. It's great for climbing, cold. Uh, it's a tough camera. It has a 16 megapixel uh, sensor, does 1080p HD video, and it does all of that while being waterproof to 10 meters, shockproof, meaning you can drop it, one and a half meters, and it'll survive being chilled down to minus 10 Celsius. So that's about 33 feet underwater, five feet dropping it, and 14 degrees Fahrenheit. It has a uh, 5 to 25 millimeter lens equivalent uh, to 28 to 140 millimeters on 35 millimeter camera. The aperture is not super fast, f3.9 at widest to um, f4.8 at max tele. The sensor is good enough though that I really haven't found too much of a need for a brighter lens. It's a, it's a really good camera. It also has uh, good for vacation, climbing, hiking, and whatnot. Nikon's uh, vibration reduction built in, and it really does work. Uh, it comes with a little clip-on adapter. Lets it take uh, 40.5 millimeter filters. Mine is in my backpack somewhere because I have a polarizer on it from the last time I was up in the mountains. Uh, it does ISO from. 125 up to 3200. I'll cut in some pictures of it because you can't see it right now. It's got a nice bright uh, three inch LCD on the back. There's not a separate viewfinder. Uh, some features that I've never used. It has GPS. I've never really uh, had a need for that. One that I use a lot. It has a macro mode that will focus down to one centimeter. Um, it does in-camera HDR, in-camera photo stitching for panorama photos. It has a bunch of different scene modes. The only one of those I've really used, I've used a couple of them. It has a high contrast black and white, which is really pretty, uh, you know, for the right kind of subject matter. And then it has a preset for fireworks, which I've found works pretty well for photographing lightning. It's pretty cool. I'll shoot some more with the trusty Nikon AW100 and I'll see you then.